But yesterday there was a great deal of... It's actually a funny story when you think about it. Roman Reigns did an interview with Ariel Helwani, and he said some stuff that made some people very angry. Roman Reigns said, and I quote, When it comes down to it, CM Punk was not as good or as over as a John Cena. Wasn't as good or as over and moved the needle like The Rock. It just was what it was. From a full-time performer, I understand the frustration and wanting more. But like I said before, you've got to take it. I am a full-time performer, but I've done everything that needs to be done to stay in this position. To continue to make the opportunity for myself to be in a main event at SummerSlam against a John Cena. Now, granted, I mean, a lot of people were up in arms yesterday, but, I mean, to be honest, I mean, he's not wrong that, yes, yes, CM Punk was not as good or as over as The Rock, nor was he as over. Uh, good is like a, a subjective thing. But in terms of like being over, no, of course CM Punk was not as over as John Cena. Of course he was not as over as The Rock. It's not a really a controversial statement. I think people got mad because they were like, well, Roman, you weren't either. And they're right. Roman Reigns also was not as over as John Cena, nor was he as over as The Rock, okay? But anyway, like, I couldn't even believe there was a thread on a board that was like 300 pages long and people just losing their minds. It's like, what do you want the guy to say? But here's the reality. Was it a dumb thing to say the day that he said it? Yes. Because, quite frankly, if you watch both of these shows tonight, unless you're deep into the WWE cult, does anybody believe that Roman Reigns is going to come out tonight and be as over as CM Punk is going to be in Chicago at the United Center for Rampage. I hope nobody honestly believes that. Now, granted, it's one night and everything like that, but the timing was poor. And if you want my preview for SmackDown, I can't say for sure that this is going to happen, but I would strongly suspect that Roman Reigns is going to come out tonight for his interview segment, his talking segment with John Cena, and there's going to be some loud CM Punk chants. And I'm sure there's going to be a lot of anger and frustration. Ah, these damn fans! But, bro, I mean, you basically asked for it doing this interview yesterday. So, I guess we'll see what happens tonight. But, yes, no matches announced for uh, SmackDown. Go home show for SummerSlam. The most interesting thing is going to be whether Sasha Banks and Bianca Belair are going to be there tonight. Because the word was out a few days ago, as we talked about, that they, that they were cleared and good to go. But I do know that there are people within the company that we're not sure yesterday. So that's the big question tonight. I guess we shall see. But Mike, are you excited for this Rampage show here tonight? I am. I'm also excited to see the comments uh, afterwards from everybody who has got to plant their flag on this. And people, what could Roman Reigns have said that would not have whipped people into a frenzy? You know what I mean? The WWE supporters and the diehards and the for the brand folks are going to back up everything he says anyway and those people that are looking to either throw arrows at him or at wwe they're going to react he could have said anything people would have blown up and and gotten all upset so i it doesn't really matter i think it was probably well he also could have said nothing foolish. I get you know, and that probably Punk. probably would have been better. But then again, you're going on a show with Ariel Helwani, and you got to expect a question. You got to expect questions like that. So I, I don't care. It's a non-issue. It's a non-story to me whatsoever. And the fact that people have blown up about it probably says more about the fact that CM Punk has got people all excited for tonight. So I, it's I think it's silly. But the whole the, the debate back and forth over this and people having to choose a side since day one has always been silly. You know, even if you're on the AEW side, even though, oh my God, yeah, you're just exactly the same way. Uh, those people who are so blind and diehard, are, you know, in support of something. So it's it, it's crazy. But then again, you know, everybody's in a frenzy right now, which makes it fun to watch from the outside because CM Punk coming back is a big deal. You know, bottom line, it's going to be an electric moment inside uh, the United Center when that happens. So awesome, you know, it, perfect timing in a lot of ways just the wrestling you know the the wrestling world way with where we're at right now with every wwe limping into to smackdown and aew not only having cm punk then as soon as punk debuts 
When's Brian Danielson coming in? Then that kicks in. And I think people are looking at Arthur Ashe Stadium as the day that that happens. So AEW is holding a lot of cards right now. They, they may not have all of the money in the world, but they certainly seem to be holding all the cards when it comes to the wrestling fans. I did like the argument that, oh, he was just in character. I can't tell you the number of WWE interviews I've heard where men talked about other performers being not over and not needle movers. Anyway, here's the thing with Rock and Cena. I mean, it's like Rock and Cena going back and forth. You know, Rock, you left. You know, I'm here ever since day one. Now you got, you know, Cena coming back and he's making fun of Roman Reigns for not being as over as Cena. He's even though Cena, they seem to do this a lot and then get into the media and do it a lot i mean as far as throwing arrows back and forth i'm i'm really not surprised by any of this at all we have seen this before with with guys at the top level if you enjoy these videos for just seven dollars and 99 cents per month you can enjoy full length editions of the brian and Vinny show wrestling observer live figure four daily with tom lawler and lance storm plus hundreds of archived shows all in beautiful hd don't miss out Join us today.